guys, welcome. We are here in the coolest area of Jakarta, Indonesia, if not the coolest area in the whole of Southeast Asia. Welcome to the SCBD. This stands for the Sudiman Central Business District. Now, every city or most cities have a central business district, but not quite like this. This feels brand new. Every building I'm looking at looks like it's just been built in the last few years. Everything is shiny, clean to touch, and just really, really efficient. I feel like I'm in the middle of Manhattan when I'm walking around here. It's super cool, super green. There's so many trees and little plants and bushes everywhere. It feels really, really cool. All the buildings are really impressive, and there's lots of things inside them. Lots of little features like cinemas, shops, and pop-up events and things that are happening all the time here, which gives it a real lively buzz. Today, I want to try and give you our first impression Impressions, go for a little walk and just hang around here, get some lunch, go to the malls, and really ask ourselves the question, is this a place that you can live? And what I mean by that is, could this attract the digital nomad crowd to come and live in this area, work from here, and feel comfortable and have enough things to do that this is a really hip place to live? Okay, let's check it out. So you join me here on the streets in the SCBD. We are going to go and take a little stroll around, just see what we find, see what it looks like, and just uh, generally get a bit of a sense of a feel for the area. Uh, and like I say, we're going to try and think if we, uh, we would put this on a list of possible destinations that you could potentially live in. So far, I've got to say, first impressions, it's super nice. It's so green. My uh, my first comparison would be to somewhere like Bangkok, maybe Bangkok mixed with a little bit of Dubai. Like the Dubai has some green areas as well, but nothing quite like this. There's just really green areas everywhere here. But it does remind me of Bangkok. It reminds you of Bangkok a little bit as well, doesn't it? Yeah. What? I used to live in Bangkok for a few months. So the other thing that we can notice straight away it's just how clean it is here. Like there's loads of bins and loads of people constantly emptying them. All of the little bushes and things are all so well maintained. Everything around us is just super well maintained. Again, giving that sense of feeling like it's brand new. Wow, guys, check this out. Boom. Okay, the other thing I want to show you here in, uh, in the CBD, watch this. Okay, look, car coming, car coming. I'm just gonna walk. Oh. Okay, the other, thing that, the other thing that I think is really important to mention here in the CBD is that everybody just seems a little bit plighter in terms of their road traffic. Watch this. So I'm just gonna come across the road, ready? And as I come, oh, oh. Your script doesn't work, mate. No. Okay, I'll try one more time. Okay, so the other thing that's definitely worth mentioning here in, uh, in the CBD is this. So usually in Indonesia, traffic is crazy, but here I'm just walking across, people are waiting for me really kindly, thank you very much. Uh, that would definitely not happen anywhere else in Indonesia, it is like mayhem. So I think that is worth a mention here. Another first impression is that it's not actually that hot here, because the buildings like trap the sun and, and hide the sun from you, then uh, yeah, it's not too hot. Oh my gosh, look at this. Okay, so when the timer is like this, look, you can see the man is like walking nice and slow, nothing, nothing to panic about. And then, oh my God. Oh my God, only a few seconds left. Why is he not sprinting? Sprint, you <laughs> Why is nothing? There you go. Sprint, sprint, run, run, run. <laughs> so this is Plaza Mall. It's not as big as Jakarta Central Mall, but it's still uh, still a fair size and still got a lot of shops in it. Definitely worth a visit. So we're going to go and uh, check it out. We've not been to like a big mall in ages. Obviously, we've been in Bali for a long time. So uh, yeah, we're going to check it out and just see what we can do. I want to get a memory card for my camera. To see if we can find it. This is also one of the this is also one of the first places we've been asked to wear a mask in uh, Jakarta. Uh, this place is absolutely huge. There's a bit of a strange feeling to it though because it's absolutely dead. So we're, we're one of the only people walking around. I don't know whether that's because it's Sunday and people in the 
CBD area of cities aren't really going to be here on a Sunday, or whether it's always like this. But it is a bit of a strange feeling, like we are walking around a bit of a ghost town of these really exclusive, gorgeous shops. Um, yeah, it almost feels like there's not really the market for it. But it's nice, it's really cool. I'm still looking for the camera shot. We're only on the second floor. It's massive. I'm exhausted. Okay, so we've figured out what's going on. Now there's actually loads of people all around us. So they put the really expensive things on the lower floors, and then if you're like us and you can't afford that, you have to go up and up and up and up and up. So now we're on like the eighth floor or the seventh floor. There's loads of people in normal shops and a food court. So we're gonna go and get some food and uh, just enjoy this little food court area. It's actually really cool. Loads going on, loads of options. Nothing Western, which is interesting. I don't recognize any of these names. Literally none of them. And someone stuck their yacht right in the middle of the foyer. How rude. Unbelievable. So we just stopped for a, um, a little spot of dinner, a little lunch here in, uh, in the tower. So we thought this would be a nice time, a nice opportunity to just sort of reflect on our thoughts and feelings so far of this area. So the first thing that I would say is it's really cool. Uh, the buildings are really cool. It's really modern, really clean, really sleek. But it's a little bit out of place. I wouldn't say there's that much going on here. There's not very many people here. And there's just not really a lot to do here. So we've sort of spent the morning wandering around and actually kind of felt a little bit lost. All the streets are kind of the same. You're always looking for the nice buildings. So the one thing that Ksenia noticed was... Uh, uh, there is no shops on the ground floor and it's kind of uh, weird like there is no coffee shops there is no restaurants nothing so you just walking in the street and it's glass doors glass doors glass windows yeah. and it just feels a bit strange yeah it feels like we're in like a uh, a work park like a, a business center not not like a business center which you could probably spend time and as like a tourist or whatever it's just not really that kind of place uh, I imagine, I mean, we're here on a Sunday, I imagine tomorrow morning is going to be hectic here. Uh, but yeah, yeah, so that was but just our... But today it feels like it's a business centre without business people. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Empty. Um, and yeah, even like the shopping malls and things, they're cool, but they're just a little bit sparse and empty. Uh, so yeah, I would say really cool, nice place, really beautiful to look at. At the moment, our thoughts are probably that it's uh, not particularly livable. Uh, but we're going off to a park in a moment, so maybe that will change our mind. Oh, we've just come down a level and actually just found a, uh, a really cool, like, big supermarket shop things. And, uh, yeah, loads of shops out here. It's kind of common for Indonesians to have underneath their malls big sort of supermarkets and lots of little food markets. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, so as I was saying, they, um, it's quite common for having like supermarkets and big shopping centers for food underneath these big malls. So there's like little malls, uh, sorry, there's like little shops, there's markets, there's lots of different food options, there's some western places like Bastion and Robin. Um, and yeah, just so you can come and do all your grocery shopping here, so that's kind of cool. You would never have known that by walking in, we have to go down the escalator as we came through. Okay guys, we are leaving the mall now. Uh, it's actually called Pacific Mall, was it? Pacific. Sp Pacific or, sp no, not specific. Pacific Mall. I'm not sure what I called it earlier, but I was definitely wrong. It's <laughs> Pacific Mall. Uh, so we're leaving there now. We're heading over the road towards the park. Things are still super clean. We're kind of coming out on the, uh, on the outskirts of the CBD right now, to where, towards where the main road is. And then from there, we just skip across the road and get into the park. Okay. Next time you'll see us, hopefully we'll be in the park. Welcome to Central Park. Okay, not quite. But uh, this is the equivalent of Central Park here in the SCBD here in uh, Jakarta. It's really great. There's loads of people sitting around, picnics going on, people taking photographs, having lunches, playing football. It's nice. It's a really nice environment. It's not particularly big but it's in proportion to the size of the SCBD, which is also kind of small. Um, but yeah, it's just a nice place to be. It's a lovely sunny day. It's a little bit hotter here than it was in the towers because there's no wind here. It's a bit still and stiff, so it's a bit sweaty. But 
yeah, lots of things to do. There's some cafes, some nice little places to sit and have your picnic. Uh, some toilets, obviously. And most of all, a gorgeous view of the SCBD behind us. Inspirational view for those sitting here on a Sunday having a picnic thinking to themselves, oh, gotta get those spreadsheets in on time. Ready to get them in for Monday morning, I'm sure. Uh, but yeah, nice park. Like I say, kind of small, but maybe there's more to it than I've seen so far. Mm -hmm.